Well, a Kansan who has been fighting a lot of battles, but one that's taken a personal note, Barb Downey from Wamigo, and we've caught up with her at the uh, NCBA meeting in San Antonio where you're really in the fight of your life. I am. I am currently a resident of Houston, Texas, undergoing treatment for rectal cancer at MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston. And I had the opportunity to sneak over to the uh, uh, NCBA meetings here in San Antonio, and so I availed myself and, and, and been catching up with friends and, and colleagues. I would guess this is probably as good of a session to, to be around your friends and, and folks that really care about you. You know, it's, it's just good for you on a whole lot of different levels to be around those kinds of folks. Okay, let's, let's just get right to the heart of the matter. Rectal cancer is something we don't hear much about. You don't. No one likes to, to uh, say the word rectal or rectum, and, and, and uh, of course there's many jokes to be had at it, but it's, it's extremely serious. There's about 40,000 cases a year diagnosed in the U.S. of colorectal cancer, and I happen to be one of the unfortunate ones, but we found it uh, in a reasonably timely manner, so I have, I have great hopes. And so with this, what, uh, what are some of the uh, treatments you're going through? You know, uh, the treatments are pretty standard for my type of cancer. I undergo chemotherapy and radiation concurrently, and that's what I'm doing right now in Houston. Uh, I will recover from that, and then the radiation continues to work for a bit. I will have surgery come mid-April, and then I will undergo additional chemotherapy after I heal from the surgery. And you have been a great leader in the world of agriculture and the beef industry, and you're taking this on like any other task as your time, of course, past chair of the, the Beef Council. But there are some efforts only for fundraising but for awareness. Tell us about those. Well, I write a blog. It started as an effort to keep my family and friends at home informed about what I was doing, what I was going through, what the, you know, what the status of my diagnosis, all of that was. And quite a few people have picked up on it. And I've been very frank, very forthcoming. It's open, it's public. It's at downeyranch.com forward slash blog. And uh, my hope for it is that people will read it. It will take away some of the scariness and mystery. You know, the unknown is always scary. Um, and that they will take care of themselves in a proactive manner that gives them the best possible outcome should they ever be faced with something, something like this. If you don't know, you can't fight it. And if you can't fight it, th then you don't stand the chance that I fortunately have, which is a very good chance. So when you caught this early? I'm a stage three. I wish I'd caught it a little earlier. Um, I'm 50 now. Um, normally, when you turn 50, you get your first screening, which I was on schedule for. Um, so it would have been caught even if I hadn't become symptomatic. Okay. Um, so, but yeah, those screenings are invaluable. DowneyRanch.com to follow your journey. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Barb Downey from Wamigo as she continues to fight uh, cancer. So in San Antonio, I'm Ken Rogers. You're watching Kansas Ag Report.